You all know this is when the disaster took place. We probably started at 40 gallon. Another video. Let me give you a quick update on the huge seven foot aquarium. You all know this is where the disaster took place at. So let's check out this tank real quick, guys. Dwarf giraffe cat, two bichers. Everybody seems to be doing well in this tank, guys. The only one that looks like he had may have been getting picked on is this parrot. But even the parrot fish, the fins on it, are healing up. Definitely gonna yank this guy out of here. May do it at some point in the middle of this video. Man, this bicho always has that killer stand. This guy right here, he only has one eye. What? This bicho here in the back. They get extremely huge too. Oh my God! Wow! If yeah, you didn't know that. For all of you guys that are asking me about feeder fish, stuff like that, check this out. I don't feed my fish feeders unless I do this. Check this out real quick. Yikes. Wow, man. Oh my god. Here you can see these guys are being quarantined. So ultimately what I'm gonna do is probably start at 40 gallon. That way I can quarantine fish like this. They may even breed and I can feed them healthy foods. That way, if I do want to feed live, I can feed live. But these right here are actually being grown out for the outdoor pond. They're gonna be used as a food source for the turtles. But this is it, guys, for the ones that are asking me about feeding live fish. Let's go right over here to the flower horn tank real quick. Man, look at the diatoms. You see that right there, guys? That's from leaving the light on extremely too long. I'm gonna have to clean that out. Let me show you something. the eight foot aquarium is going to be being set up pretty soon but dig this the reason why this tank isn't set up guys because i did something really really stupid i actually put the tank on the wrong side of the stand guys bruh can't wait let's look at the exit on real quick turn the light on in their tank In here, well, I hardly ever show this one. This is what I used to use when I had the outdoor pond, YouTube lighting, but the baby cicada tortoise are here. Little indoor enclosure for those guys. The other one must be under, yeah. There he is. See him under there? This is gonna be dope, dude. 
especially with the outdoor enclosure. But my purpose for showing you this room is that I want you guys to kind of be a part of this build. I'm thinking I'm gonna add about five aquariums in here and maybe an indoor mini tortoise enclosure for baby tortoise, like rare species. Um, it's gonna be pretty sick. If you think that's a good idea, let me know. Boring. I don't really wanna flood the whole house with aquariums. I'm assuming the garage in this fish room here is enough. You guys all know this pair right here, the Jaguars. The female is maybe about, I want to say 11 and a half. The male is about 13 inches, if not longer. These guys have spawned several different times, several. They're actually displaying mating behavior every time I walk up to the tank. Like now. And I have this set up really neat is because whenever the female does lay eggs, she can hide up in these rocks and then the male won't bully her into submission. The Oscars. Check this out guys, this tank right here. You say it's such a mess, right? Look at all of the stuff in the inside. Then down here, this old sump. But I actually want to turn this to an octopus aquarium. One of the dwarf octopus. So I'm actually not going to do this myself. I'm going to hire somebody to come in, clean this tank up, set it up, put the sump, get it cycled. It's going to be a saltwater tank for an octopus. I think it's gonna be really dope. Now the thing with octopus is that there are escape artists, guys. In order to prevent those guys from escaping, you need to have a really secure tight lid. And also you see around the rim of this, what you're gonna to wanna to do here is put Velcro up right side up with the spikes pointing upward. That way when these guys put their tentacles on there, it irritates their tentacles and they snatch their tentacles back into the aquarium. It's gonna be challenging, but I think it's gonna be a dope tank. What do you guys think? The octopus, right here. It's gonna be sick. <laughs> Here's where it's about to get crazy. I need to shut the door for this one. That's hot. That's hot. Wow. That's just one, man. One down. More to go. This big guy right here, like I said, this
one, you're certified. Oh. That's my time. <laughs> you know what it is.